I'm Joe Godfrey, and welcome to this training for Logic 10. Logic is a powerful music creation app for everyone from hobbyists making beats to sound designers working in the game and film industries to musicians creating artistic music to sell on iTunes. It's also used by composers making MIDI mock-ups for game and film scores that will later be played by real breathing musicians. There are basically four types of tracks that we work with in Logic. One is audio files that we record within Logic. Those could be vocals or guitars. Let's call that capturing a performance. Two is audio loops from Logic's library. There are lots of choices for that, and we'll explore that later on. Three is audio that we extract from a movie or some other audio source. We didn't record it in Logic, but we're working with it. And four is sounds that we create using Logic's vast collection of virtual instruments. And these are mostly triggered using a MIDI keyboard. And I think four is where you'll find the power and the fun in Logic. You can write something and then decide which instrument will play it, like the orchestrators in Hollywood do. You know, they write a melody and then they decide that's a flute part, that's an oboe part, that's a cello part. Or you can pull up a patch and having that instrument at your fingertips will determine or at least influence what you write. That's what Logic does. Now, who's using Logic? Well, lots of people. I think people that graduated from GarageBand that are looking for more, maybe people that move from Pro Tools or Fruity Loops or Reason or Ableton, PreSonus, one of the other PC-based apps like Sonar. Logic's very popular now. The last time I checked, it's the second highest grossing app on the App Store, right behind the OS. Some say Pro Tools is for capturing a performance and Logic is for creating sound and music. Let me address that for a minute. Pro Tools dominates the recording studio environment, studios that you hire, for music made in the traditional way of composing a song, rehearsing a song, booking time for the band, lots of musicians playing at once, maybe not all. Maybe we're cutting the rhythm section today and the strings tomorrow, and we'll do guitar overdubs and background vocals next week, and then we'll schedule some time to mix. Contrast that with the Logic workflow, which dominates the project studio environment for music and sound design, made in a more asymmetric way, where we're kind of composing the song and building the track at the same time. We might toss in a drum loop or a chord sequence to start writing, and that takes the piece in a new direction, and we can explore that direction because we don't have the studio clock ticking away at our checkbook. So that's not to say that Logic isn't good for capturing and editing a performance. As we'll see later in this title, it does that very well. Let's begin this journey and see how learning Logic can transform the way you approach your music projects.